Hi, my name is Steve Bogots and what I'd like to show you today is how to knock guideline to put on your reels um, and specifically your exploration reels. And there's a few tools that we need to have with us to be able to knock that guideline. First of all, most important thing is the line knotting machine itself, which is just a piece of wood approximately seven feet long um, with a couple of eye bolts in it that you're going to be running the guideline through. One at the end, one here close to me, uh, and a spike to put the spool of line on. The line knotting machine also has a line marking the point uh, that we're actually going to put the knots in. And this is at a distance of nine feet, eight inches, four inches short of 10 feet, because the line's going to stretch a little bit when it's wet. In addition to the line knotting machine, Obviously we need an empty spool to put the line that we're going to knot on. We need a lighter so that we can burn the ends of the line. And we need a spool of line. This is a spool of uh, number 18 twisted nylon line. It's uh, 500 grams, half a kilogram, which is approximately uh, just over a pound of line, um, pound and a half of line. And this is around about 13 to 1400 feet of guideline. So the first thing to do is to tie a knot in the guideline, just a simple overhand knot. Once you've tied that knot then you're going to make the loop that you're going to put on the reel. Again just a simple overhand knot and you're going to make two of those so it clearly shows you where the start of a section of line is or where the join is between two guidelines. And it makes it easy while you're surveying in the cave to determine exactly which is the 10 foot knot and this is the 10 foot knot. And these ones just indicate that there's a join coming up. Okay, so having made the loop, you're gonna pass it through the first eye bolt on the line knotting machine. You're going to pass it through the eye bolt at the end. You're going to pull it back on itself. Pass it through the second eye bolt. So the line's doubling up on itself. Okay. Then when you make your first knot, you just take one knot, you pull it to the line, you put a little bit of tension on the guideline to mimic the tension that you're going to use when you're laying the guideline, since you want to lay the guideline with tension on it. And then using the spool, you just tie a nice simple overhand knot in the line where you pinch the line and at this point you pull the line through and just drop it straight into the bucket to catch the line and when we finish knotting this whole spool then we're going to have a bucket full of number 18 twisted nylon line knotted every 10 feet approximately 13 1400 feet of it and we can just spool it straight out of the bucket onto our reels takes approximately 20 to 25 minutes to knot a complete spool of line once you've had some practice at doing it. So it's a nice, simple, easy way of producing a lot of knotted guideline quickly and efficiently. And the other good thing about it is you have no cumulative or add-on errors with your line knotting. If you accidentally knot in the wrong position, then it's only one span that's going to be out and it's not going to affect any of the others. At any point if you're not sure that you've got the knot in the right position then you can always bring it back to the check mark on the line knotting machine just to verify that yes the knots are correct. And the beauty of the line knotting machine is it's portable. You can use it pretty much anywhere at home, sitting on the sofa in front of the TV in the air conditioning, or out here in the jungle, you know, at the side of the cenote where you're exploring. So it was Bill Phillips who invented this line knotting machine and originally uh, showed me this method of knotting line about 10 years ago and it's by far the fastest, most efficient and simple way to actually knot line that uh, I've seen to date. And I've knotted thousands and thousands of feet of line over the last 10 years using this system and it works 
very, very well. That's going to be the last knot off this spool. Okay, now we just need to make another loop in the end of this line so that we have a loop at the end as well as at the beginning. So again, the 10 foot knot in the middle of the loop. Tie a simple overhand knot. Tie a second one to clearly indicate that again you've come to the end or the beginning of a section of line or the join between two lines. So there we have a bucket full of knotted number 18 twisted nylon line approximately 1400 feet knotted every 10 feet. Uh, now we have to put it on the reel. So take out the loop that you ended with, pass it through the line guide of the reel. Put your hand through the loop, take the standing part of the line. Okay. When you drop the loop over the reel, the bottom part of the loop has to be at the bottom of the spindle in the middle of the reel. So that when you tighten the line up and you're ready to reel it in, it's going to tighten on itself. As you're putting the line on the reel, you just need to make sure that it goes on with tension and also that it goes across the spool evenly so it's not all piling up on one side. As you're spooling up the line, you can actually count the knots as you go to see exactly how much line you're putting on your reel. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to having a full reel here. It's best not to overfill the reel because when the line gets wet, it's going to expand. And then if you've got too much line on the reel, it's going to fall over the edge and become an entanglement issue. So I'm going to end it here. I just need to reel up until I find a knot. Ah, there's a knot. Okay, so same thing. Take the knot. So you're going to make a loop to end the line off. Make sure the knot is in the end of the loop and then again just tie two overhand knots just to indicate this is the start of the section of line. Okay. So I just need to do the same thing here. Um, so for the next time we're going to spool this line in the bucket up or we're going to add more to it. We need to create a join point, so we need another loop. Oh, there we go. And rather than just cut line, it's better to use a lighter and burn it so that it seals the ends and the line doesn't unravel itself. So there we go, um, expiration reel loaded with approximately 800 feet of number 18 twisted nylon line, knotted every 10 feet. Now all we need to do is find some nice virgin cave to go and lay this.